my friends and welcome back to EVE Online with me Mark from Dadex and it's Furia back in her Algos, Alvin, Alvin 2 in fact, who we saw recently running some sites. I've changed the fit very little, what I've basically done is take off the prop mod and add a second cap battery. Up in the top we've still got the prototype 125mm rail guns. They're giving us a fall off of 12 kilometers and an optimal of about six and a half, which is perfect for where the rats are going to kite. And that's with Federation Navy antimatter ammo. And of course the gun DPS is secondary, but we got a total DPS of 246. The hull bonuses for the Algos are of course very focused on the drones. For each level of Galante Destroyer, we get 10% bonus to drone damage and drone hit points. They're tougher and they kill better. We also get a 10% bonus to small hybrid turret tracking speed, which is helpful, especially with the rail guns. Roll bonus is a 25% bonus to drone max velocity. So they move around faster. They're a little bit harder for the rats to hit and they'll get from rat to rat quicker. Of course, it's always important to know the bonuses of the hull that you're about to fit, even if you know you're breaking them. In the mid slots, I've got one small cap battery two and one compact small cap battery. Probably going to be overkill. We've also got, it's actually a compact status weather fire. It could be an enduring one just to save on the cap. We've got about 980 gigajoules in our cap. I think that's going to be more than enough. My intention is for this to be the most low maintenance fit that I've tried running the hunt in, in terms of button pushing. All we've got to do really is target stuff and shoot it and set the drones on it. If I turn off the guns, you can see we've got 130 DPS there. So that's the drone DPS from this fit. And the other, what is it, 114 comes from the guns. So it's not far off 50-50 actually with this setup. Turn the guns back on. Right, in the bottom slot, we've got one drone damage amplifier, two, one damage control, two to help with the resistances, and one small armor repairer, two. The damage control is the best sort of one slot solution for our resistances. It's given us 15% bonus to everything. It's thermal and kinetic that are the focus for the running of this site. A reactive would give us better resistances in those, but obviously it's an active module. It's quite an expensive module. And uh, we'll see if this works or not, and if we need to work on the fit, we shall. In the rig slots, we've got one collision accelerator to up the damage by 10%, and then we've got two auxiliary nano pumps to increase our rep amount. Right, I don't really need all that stuff in the cargo. I'll have a little tidy up, but we've got a key. We're only going to use the Navy ammo. We don't need any cap boosters for this run. It's going to be quite low maintenance. In the drone hold, it's full of hornets. I've got one hobgoblin just to fill it up. Hornets are going to do kinetic damage. That seems to be appropriate. Last year, I tried to run the site. I did complete the site, and I'll show you quickly at the end. I tried it with blasters, and because of the range and the limitation on it, I wasn't applying damage, therefore the drones took all the aggro, so I'm expecting this to be quite hectic, but we'll see, because this time I should be applying consistent damage with my guns, much more than I was last year. I don't know if I'm going to use the booster or not yet. Um, I don't think I'm going to need to. I think the boosters are optional. Maybe if you've got slightly lower skills, dropping one of the boosters you've got knocking around to increase your reps or your damage might help. Anyway, let's go and find a site. Okay, so we're in sailing. We're in low sec. Uh, it's not the safest place in the world, but we'll see. We'll keep an eye. We're going to set our D-scan down to 1 AU and keep it at 360 degrees. That way we can at least keep an eye on what's sniffing around the gate. Maybe get a little bit of a heads up if there's anything on the way to join us. Because obviously, unlike high sec, if anything joins me in here, there'll be a little bit of a fight. Or I run away. Or he runs away. Who knows? Talking of interruptions, actually, Lys Algos has already done the whole first room on one of the hunt sites and then the servers went down this afternoon um, because I got a little bit distracted by the time I'd logged back in and went back to have a look. Somebody else had gone in and killed the last guy. I have no idea what loot they may have got, but well done them for beating me back there. <laughs> yeah, so this is actually the second site. We've got a caracal waiting for us and two frigates on grid. We can deal with these quite nicely. We'll get the drones out. We're going to start heading just in a direction. So we are moving. We can't move very fast. We're going to just target up the caracal. He can do us the biggest hits of damage. The Iwa, I don't think, is going to concern us with the amount of cap we've got. 
Maybe anything webbing us will get a priority. ECM we'll keep an eye out for, but it seems quite manageable even when that happens. Even when they're trying to ECM you, it seems quite rare on these sites this year. And then we're just going to kill what's ever closest with the drones. Remember, we've got six and a half kilometer optimal on the rails and the rats come on beautifully into that range for us. So with the web on them, the damage is applying quite well. And also the drones are taking absolutely no aggro, look. The focus is on me. That's fine. That's very, very manageable. We've got a huge pie of a capacitor there in the middle. And uh, again, we're getting these little pauses between the waves, which I absolutely am fine with. Okay, up to two times speed as we settle into the second wave. We've got three destroyers and two kestrels. The kestrels can give you quite hard hits of damage, actually. But I think we'll be absolutely fine. I've over-repped quite a bit, but luckily we've got the... Uh, capacitor to cope with my clumsiness and again it's just really targeting the closest one one of the drones is taking a bit of a beating i noticed very late in the day i do try to pull the guy back in but no unfortunately we are we're a drone down we're just chucking another one out we've got plenty this drone aggro is nothing like last year what I'm doing now to compensate for the fact i've got no prop mod is I'm setting an orbit up around the gate. So that, um, if anyone wants to come and interrupt me, just as I clear the last room, I'm ready to pop through. It has saved me the loot room a couple of times running these sites, especially if you're in a slow ship. Dropping the prop mod, I don't know if it's that necessary. We'll see when we finish. We've got quite a busy little wave here. What have we got? Seven frigates, but that includes two bantams that yet again are doing absolutely nothing. The Griffin did try to get his ECM on us, but he didn't get the dice roll, so he got absolutely no jams, and we shall just kill these Kestrels at our leisure. The drones are taking a little bit of aggro, but it's uh, nothing like it was before. We're obviously taking a bit of damage consistently ourselves most of the time, I guess because we're applying that damage. I'm spending more time in drone boats and getting uh, more used to it and understanding the mechanics a little bit more in detail than I did before, to be honest with you. So if you've got any advice on how to manage the drone aggro and switch it on and off of you, I'd happily hear it. Straight on into the next wave, we've got a caracal. So I'm going to try to get in on him on an orbit, but we can kill whatever we can on the way into him. Check out the drone about to get a one hit. There he goes. I don't know what hit him, but it hit him hard. So uh, yeah, we'll put another drone out when I remember to. That poor little lodgy ship <laughs> i guess they're just glitched out this year i'm not going to complain about it too much it's making it easier to run the sites they really didn't make much of a contribution last year even though they were involved and they were giving out some reps nine frigates in this wave i think this must be the last wave this should be hectic but uh let's see how we get on this has been really easy going you've seen how much i've had to rep it's not been too much we've got the rapper going now I've certainly not had to even think about overheating anything. Simply lock them up, head towards them, orbit. They'll come to you anyway. Just keep moving. F1, F2, get the drones on them. This is the easiest run so far. The Algos is a very impressive ship. And we seem to be sharing the aggro between us and the drones. So the drones are not getting mullered like they did last year. Um, well, I basically just cruise around unscathed doing very little <laughs> other than cycling drones in and out of my drone hold. So we have lost two drones, um, one down to neglect, one got that one shot whack. I don't think I could have done much to mitigate that at all. We'll head up towards the gate. We've got time to get reloaded, get recharged, make sure we bring in the drones, of course. We've got nowhere near any pressure on us cap-wise. I'm sure we could probably drop one of those small cap batteries and put on an afterburner for selective use. Um, you wouldn't want it burning the whole time on the site. You wouldn't need it. Right, back to one time speed. I'm going to get the rail guns and the repper preheated, ready to go once we get in the last room. And I'm going to get the drones ready to drop as soon as we can. Then we're set to orbit the guy at 1,000 meters. We'll get him locked up. We'll make sure we're not flying towards any structures in the room. And then once he's locked, we press F1, F2, F3. F to get the drones on him. And we are in the fight. So it's just basically how quickly can we kill the guy. I'm pretty confident 
We're tanking him. No big horrible hits of damage coming in. He's going down. We're almost through his shield. No aggro on the drones. We're taking the aggro. Got down to what? About a quarter armor there, but no worries. He's down. We're at about half armor. I've got nowhere near hull yet running the hunt this year. What is going on? Let's see what we got today. That fight was over ever so quickly. Never looked in doubt, to be fair. I think this Algos, I can almost declare this easy mode. Look at that. Just shy of 70 million. We've got a couple of overseers effects. That booster's worth over 30 million just by itself. So I'll take that. Loot all. Don't forget to loot the wreck. And that's us done as i say yeah i was pretty confident there because we'd already cleared that whole first room on the site that the uh server crash robbed us off okay this is the site that i ran last year i had blasters as fitted as i said so the ship itself was not really applying much damage to these rats the drones took all the aggro and uh Back this time last year, I hadn't really used drone boats very much at all for a while. So this was the maddest drone management I'd had to do. And it just seemed to get worse as the site went on, especially as you once you've got the ones that have already been uh, wiped out on the armor front. You can bring them back in and they'll recharge their shield. But uh, I'm glad I brought plenty with me. That's all I can say. I'm not even going to count how many may have died in this engagement. I don't think it was too many. If you ever have a situation where your drones are just taking way too much aggro, do just think about having something on your ship to make sure you can get a bit of aggro off of the rats. Uh, even if you just like poke them with a rocket launcher or something. Because uh, as far as I understand, if you've got drones out and you're not doing any damage to the rats, the drones are going to take all of the hassle. That might be exactly what you don't want. Obviously, it's a little bit like that situation in PvP when a drone boat just gets all their drones killed and then they've got no DPS left and they just die slowly. I've also got the new Abar Alpha that I'm making some videos with now, so that's going to involve a little bit of dronage, I should assume, as well along the way. But we're about wrapped up here for today. The Algos, it's certainly the easiest ride I've had so far. The next ships I'm going to try, we've got to get the Mimitar out. I did a Thrasher last year, and I think that'll probably still apply. I'm going to try a Breacher and maybe a Rifter, because uh, we've got to do a little bit of the older Rusty stuff as well, just to keep everything representative and fair. So as I head into the last room here with my drones, look at the, my drones, my beautiful drones. <laughs> Leave us a like if you've liked it. But any comments and suggestions at all are always welcome down below, guys. You know that. For now, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Remember, even is believing. Subscribe if you want to stay in touch. There'll be a couple more hunt vids up very, very soon. But for now, goodbye.